What's going on guys? I am the Walrus Jedi and welcome to another Star Wars book review. Today is the Jedi Academy Book 1, Jedi Search, written by Kevin J. Anderson and published by Bantam Spectra of February 1994. This book takes place 11 ABY or 11 years after the Battle of Yavin. So if you like these book videos and would like more then consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more. There will be spoilers for this book, so consider that your warning. Dramatis Personae, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Leia Organa Solo, Lando Calrissian, Chewbacca, R2-D2, C-3PO, Jaina Solo, daughter of Han and Leia, Jason's twin, Jason Solo, son of Han and Leia, Jaina's twin, Natasi Dalla, Admiral in the Imperial Navy, a human female from Ermanu, Maruth Duel, the administrator of Kessel Mines. He is a male ribbit. Kip Duran, a force sensitive teen prisoner from Kessel, or in the Kessel Mines. He's a human male from Dare. Gantoris, a force sensitive human male from Il Shah. Streen, a force sensitive human male from Bespin. Quizux, uh, an Imperial scientist, a female Amwati from Umwat, Jedi Search. Luke Skywalker declares he will rebuild the Jedi Order. He goes to Ol Shah as there is a man, Gantoris, who is believed to be force sensitive. Luke passes Gantoris tests, and the grim man goes with Skywalker to train as a Jedi. They then go to Bespin to recruit another potential Jedi an old man who harvests the gas in Bespin. He only wants to quiet all the voices in his head that he can hear when near other people, and Luke agrees to teach him that, so they then go to Coruscant. Han and Chewie go to Kessel to bring them into the New Republic, but Maruth Duel, who's in charge, shoots down the Falcon, and Han and Chewie are sent to the Spice Mines. There they meet fellow prisoner Kip Duran. They escape and flee into the Maw, with Kip guiding them to safety. They find in the center of the Maw four Imperial Star Destroyers. They get captured and interrogated by Admiral Dalla. They then meet Quizux, and they steal the Sun Crusher, which basically it launches a projectile into a system's sun. Cause it basically, it's like the Death Star, but it can destroy several planets at once by targeting the sun and basically using the sun to, you know, causes a chain reaction, causing a massive explosion that, uh, yeah, takes out planets. So, pretty devastating. And then they head back to Kessel and run into Lando and Luke in the Falcon. And then they rendezvous, and then they go to Coruscant. And then Yavin 4 is chosen to be the location for the Jedi Academy. What I liked. Luke's stuff in this, you know, recruiting more Jedi, building the Jedi, I, I really enjoyed. I think that's awesome. Yavin 4 is a uh, location for the Jedi Academy. I, I think that's fun. I think it's a cool setting that could offer cool settings for books and stories and things like that. So I look forward to that. And then Han's storyline is good. I enjoyed that, you know, the Mayans and all that. So it was it was interesting. And then what I didn't like. I know that it's kind of explained that, you know, the Imperials are, you know, in the mob. I don't know. Like, basically, I guess I'll rephrase it. Like, yeah, just, to, I don't know. And it, it just felt maybe a little convenient. Like, of course, you know, the Han and Chewie and, and Kip, they stumble across some Imperials trying to get home from being captive and we'll, we'll see how the rest of this series goes but i'm i'm really hoping the main bad guy is not admiral dola as i'm getting a little tired of rebels versus empire it's getting a little stale i i, I need some variety there is a, a part in the book where lando goes to he's he goes to a planet to investigate a potential jedi but it turns out to be a waste of time he's not really a force sensitive he just because it, it's a gambling it looks like someone's gambling and and winning too much yeah but it turns out to be 
Yeah, but uh, anyways, there's this thing called blob racing, which, you know, these basically just gelatinous blobs go through an ob uh, uh, not an obstacle course, a blobstacle course. Yeah, it's, I don't know, just a little goofy. I don't know, I feel like most of these are really just minor nitpicks. Yeah, because I'd, I'd give this book an 8 out of 10. I, I, I enjoyed it, for the most part. That's my review of Jedi Search. What do you think of this book if you've read it in the comment section down below? Right now you can watch a couple of reviews on the left right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.